Hi friends, it's Nicole from Snugglebugs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here is where we share all of our amazing product demos, product reviews, and product comparisons to help you feel the utmost confidence along your parenthood journey. So today, I am here with the Nuna Royal Car Seat. This is a harness to booster car seat used in forward facing, and it is a Canadian exclusive. So you're only gonna see this in Canada, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I'm super excited to be diving into this car seat, telling you guys all about it, and showing you the two installs utilizing the five point harness and the belt positioning booster. So let's get into it. Okay, so a few Coles notes on the Royal car seat. Like I said before, it is a harness to booster. So you are going to utilize this car seat forward facing only, and you're going to utilize the five point harness mode up to 65 pounds or 49 inches tall. And then you are going to graduate to booster mode and utilize that up to 120 pounds or 57 inches tall, which is absolutely amazing. So you also have a really nice um, eight position headrest here. So you can utilize that for your growing little one. And then you also have a four position recline. So I'm just going to press on this gray button here and then you can utilize that recline through all different stages of your car seat. Now, turning the car seat around, like I mentioned before, you're going to have your five point harness. So you have some nice shoulder straps, um, shoulder cushions here for extra comfort, your chest clip, and then you also have two different slots for your crotch buckle. So really nice for those growing little ones. You also have some amazing side impact protection here, which is great for that protection and safety. You also have two included cup holders, which is really fun especially as your little one gets older, you can utilize those cup holders whenever you need. And then when you don't need them anymore, you can just stow them away as well. Now, something also that's really interesting about the Nuna Royal is that there's actually a adjustable calf rest. So there are just two gray buttons on the side and then you can lift that calf rest up and put it down when you don't need it anymore, just to add that much more comfort level to your little one's car seat journey or not so little one anymore. The material, this is the caviar fashion, which all of you Nuna lovers will know. And it is also made with no added flame retarding chemicals. So really, really great aspect as well. Now let's get into the installs. So there's going to be two different install methods that I wanna show you today. The first one is utilizing the five point harness and with the true tension seat belt path. So let's get into that install. So to utilize the five point harness install, you're actually going to unbuckle your five point harness just to show the true tension door here. So I'm gonna pull back the fabric and you're going to see this red door and that is your true tension lock off. So you're just gonna lift up on this lever and then the true tension lock off will expose itself. Next up, I'm going to take the seat belt both the lap and shoulder belt, and you're going to feed it through this um, belt position here with the red indicator. So you're gonna slide that through, making sure that there's no twists and turns in your seat belt, and then you're gonna feed it through the other side. Now, once you've fed it through and you've buckled it in, and then you are going to lock it off, and you're just going to listen for the click, Put your fabric back and your buckle back. And then you're going to take your top tether, which is absolutely a must in forward facing. And you're going to attach that to the back of your car seat, tighten it. And then as you can see, this seat is not going anywhere. So everything is safely installed. You have no twists and turns. You've had that lock off connection and you are ready to go. So that is the five point harness install. And then once your not so little one has graduated and they are moving into booster mode, let me show you the second install, which is with the actual seat belt, the lap and shoulder belt. And then we're also gonna utilize those UAS latches. So let's get into that one. 
Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to remove your five point harness. In this case, we're actually gonna hide it behind the seat. So I'm gonna take off these shoulder strap cushions. You're not gonna need these anymore. And then you're going to undo your chest clip and your buckle. You're also going to take this padding off of your crotch strap as well. And then when you lift up the material here, you're gonna see this purple door that says harness storage, and you're gonna slide the chest clip and the buckle all the way to the top. And when you lift that storage area, you're gonna see these two openings for your chest clip and your buckle, just so that they don't get in the way. Hide the straps, and then you're also going to take out your crotch buckle as well, so that is out of the way. Now, to secure this seat to the vehicle seat, we're going to use the UAS latches. So under the seat as well near the bottom is also the UAS storage. So you're just gonna lift that compartment up and take out your UAS latches. Close that latch, close the storage door. So then you're going to open up that true tension door and you're going to feed your UAS latches through the same area that you did with the seat belt. So one is gonna go on one side. Making sure that there's no twists and turns in the um, UAS latches as well. And then that's gonna connect to the back of the actual vehicle seat. And then you're gonna do that with the other side. So taking the other UAS latch and attaching it through. And then you're gonna come on the side where there is, it kind of looks like a seatbelt buckle, and you're just gonna pull up on that, making sure that there's no slack, that your seat's pulled back, that there's no slack, and then you're going to close off that tension door as well. Listen for the click and you should be secured there. And then you, again, are gonna take that top tether, connect it, make it tight, move the fabrics back down, and you are really good to go. This seat is not going anywhere. And then your not so little one has the independence to take their seat belt, depending on their height, and utilize their seat belt you can have it across using the seatbelt guides here. The seatbelt guides are absolutely amazing just to make sure that your child has the proper seatbelt path on them as well. So really wanting to make sure that they're utilizing their seatbelt in the proper way from the shoulder to their neck. Great install there and you are now in booster mode. So this is the second install and the final install that you will need for your child's last stage of their car seat journey. So that is basically it about the Nuna Royal car seat. Again, this is their amazing Canadian exclusive harness to booster. And if you wanna learn more, we have an amazing learning center article that I can attach to the description box below. But if this is the harness to booster car seat for you, then I will put the um, product link in the description box below as well. And if you enjoy all of these videos, definitely like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. So I will see you guys again soon. Bye.